Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. By a 3 to 1 margin on Tuesday, the voters in the city of Jenkins voted in favor of packaged alcohol sales in the city. At the collective precinct at Jenkins Middle High School, where all four of Jenkins' precincts were set up, of the 274 ballots cast, 203 were in favor of allowing packaged alcohol sales in Jenkins. 71 were opposed. That's a margin of 74% to 26% in favor. One voter who talked about his vote said he couldn't see letting revenue from alcohol sales leave Jenkins any longer. I think it should pass. I mean, what's the difference of having alcohol sales in Jenkins when you can just go two miles to the top of the mountain to buy it and that bring tax money into the area? In a previous interview, Jenkins Mayor Todd DePriest said two retailers, Dollar General and Rite Aid, have expressed interest in selling packaged alcohol. He also said there would be work to do following a yes vote. Well, if the vote's successful tomorrow and, uh, and the people uh, say that's what they want, then you know, the city will have to enact an ordinance. Uh, after that, have to work with the Kentucky ABC office to uh, find out what else needs to be done to, uh, to put it into place. So it remains unclear when packaged alcohol sales will begin in Jenkins. One thing that is clear, however, is the low voter turnout. Of the eligible 2,331 voters who could have voted in Tuesday's election, only about 12% cast a vote. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.